Hey everybody, it's Dr. Carmen Bryant from the car to the house chronicle. Don't worry, we'll be back in the car soon. Thank you so much for being here. You ready? All right. I remember when I was uh, growing up in my therapeutic self, my education, um, and I had a supervisor, awesome supervisor, very knowledgeable. I really liked him, um, but I noticed that his, his body was frail. Uh, he had a lot of aches and pains and, and he's very emotional. When I say emotional, something had happened. You could tell he had been traumatized. And one day he sat me down and he was talking to me during our supervision, and this is what he told me. He said, have you ever looked into the face of pure evil? He says he was a forensic um, th I was therapist, psychologist, I'm not sure, uh, but his responsibility, he would go and teach uh, FBI agents about um, criminal behavior, the psychology behind criminal behavior. And one of the things that he would have to do is go into the prison systems with the most dangerous um, psychopaths, sociopaths, narcissists, anything you can think of, uh, and interview them and, and assess them and talk to them. And uh, this is what he said. He said, Carmen, he says, I sat in front of these people. He says, I looked in their eyes. He said, and I saw pure evil. He said, I felt it. I tasted it. It was pure evil. He said, the thing about these uh, criminals, these, these individuals, and a lot of them had narcissistic personality disorder, malignant with the antisocial, you know, with the, at the time it was a psych psychopath, the sociopath. All psychopaths and sociopaths have narcissistic personality disorder, but not all narcissists have uh, antisocial personality disorder or the psychopath, sociopath part of it. But he said um, they would sit there and he would interview them or assess them. And he said, it's not the fact that they want to give you information to help you or give you information to help cases or anything like that. He says, basically what he was saying is they want fuel. They want your reaction. And this is how he said it. He said, they want your reaction. They want to relive the story so they can get the feeling back. And then they want to sense the fear and they want to see your reaction to the stories that they're telling. And it brings them so much pleasure to watch you squirm and to watch your micro expressions at when they're telling these gruesome stories and they enjoy it. That's why they want to keep talking to you and keep telling you. They all have arterial motives. And he said the arterial motive, number one, is they're getting attention and they're getting other people to pay attention and they get other other people to pay attention. And then their name were used and 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 I release my name so you can even tell them where the information came from. So the moral of this story and what I'm trying to tell you, which is actually a true story, what I'm trying to tell you is, is why are you going to run to a person that has this disorder to give you information about a person that abused you that had the disorder. First of all, they're not doing it to help you like many people think, but they're doing it because they need a reaction. Now go to part two and let me tell you the rest of it. Okay, Dr. Carmen Bryant from the car to the house chronicle. And the question is, is why would you run to a tormentor to get relief or answers, right? So this is part two. So think about it, what I was saying in the very first video. If um, a therapist, psychologist, researcher is going in to study and teach FBI agents about the criminal behavior or the psychological makeup of ind individuals that are uh, criminally, I don't want to say criminally insane, but let's say they have uh, mental health issues, you know, some of the issues that they have, and to describe their behaviors, their thought uh, patterns, how they lure their victims. They talk about how they lure their victims. Look at Ted Bundy, a narcissist at heart. You can see it during some of the tapings where he was in the courtroom a narcissist at heart, but charming individual, very, very intellectual, cerebral on top of that. The judge even made the comment. He says, sir, if you weren't a criminal, if you weren't doing, he says, I would be honored to have you as a lawyer. Okay. So now he done fed him and he got plenty of fuel from that statement. So why would you run to a tormentor, a person that has told you what they are? Not just told you what they are. Some of them are uh, uh, higher, higher level narcissists, malignant narcissists. They tell you their diagnosis. They tell you, uh, and most people think about it. They charm you. They give you enough information. It's a bait because they're learn. They're well. I want to say learning. They're evolving. They're listening. They're evolving. Remember, they're mirroring, and they sound very intellectual. Some of them are cerebral, and they're giving you bait. They're giving. They're throwing bait out there, and what? audience are they normally looking for? They're looking for an audience, those people that are hurting and looking for answers. When a person is hurting, they're looking for answers. They want to hear what they want to hear. They want someone to make the pain to stop, to make their heart stop hurting. So guess what? You got the narcissist over here that pulls out, you know, that throws out that bait for you and you get pulled in. But guess what happens? 
You're being love bumped. You're getting information, but you're never going to get the truth. You're getting information, but you're never going to get the total truth. And what they're doing is, is pulling you in. And guess what? Some of you have become flying monkeys. Some of you guys have begin, become advocate supporters of narcissists and the things which are teaching you to provide safety for you, to provide you with insight so that you don't get caught up in the same situation as you um, came out of. But when you run to your tormentor, a tormentor is not going to tell you everything about the narcissist, about another uh, a tormentor. They'll give you just enough information to pull you in and lock you in because guess what? They don't know you in person to get you in and lock you in. But guess what? There's never any truth or, or relief from that because nine times out of 10, you're going to get hooked up with another narcissist. And you can usually tell by the people that come on our channels. You know, those of us that work together come on the channel and then they get upset about what you're saying. And then they tell you, refer you to a narcissist channel. Why would I go to a tormentor to be tormented? Why would I go and refer people to a tormentor? Think about it. Now you're being tormented and you're locked in. Now you have just been love bombed. Thank you.